supreme being, dear friends. Today is a, a very beautiful, not sunny day, <laughs> but still very beautiful. I wanted to speak today the first things that uh, we need to do at uh, the beginning of our journey of awakening. It's not really what we need to do, but if we want to, to take this journey painless. I see so many people who have activated their Kundalini energy uh, or they're just awakening in a, one on another way and they're suffering so much physically and psychologically and this is because they didn't resolve some simple things which are very important to do right at the beginning and the number one thing is to forgive there is nothing greater now forgiveness and I mean not just to forgive those in your life that have hurt you in any way it has never been their intention it has never been their desire because there has always been love but it has been hidden and we didn't see it for one or another reason that's why there's nothing greater than this, than to forgive. And I'm talking about forgiveness on any kind of level. Forgive yourselves. Start from within, from what's inside of you. Because if you don't forgive yourselves, if you don't love yourselves, there's no way we can forgive the others and love the others. Let's start with love, this journey in our hearts. Because love is the greatest vibration. It's the strongest, the most powerful, the most beautiful thing. When we forgive, we are actually doing something very important. We are freeing our soul from the burdens of this jail because let's be honest I know how you're seeing the world now it is a jail <laughs> not until you decide to free yourself you can actually live in this matrix and feel free there is a way my friends then let's talk about love. Do we really love ourselves? How much do we love ourselves? Do we love ourselves to the fullest, greatest extension? If not, let's work on that. Meditate on your heart chakra on a daily basis. Meditate on your third eye. You can watch our video how to activate the third eye and we are sharing a, a very simple technique uh, which involves meditation of opening the third eye. Opening the third eye is very essential because when we are working on opening the third eye we are working on opening the heart chakra of unblocking this divine center. The heart chakra is a very important part of our spiritual journey. I would say that it's even more important than the third eye. Because once we activate and we fully unblock the heart chakra, there's nothing else that can stop the energy to flow smoothly within. Then opening the third eye and the crown chakra is just a matter of time. But it's very easy afterwards because when we open the, the heart chakra and when we unblock it if there's any blockages there we actually activate a very special energy we activate 
the sensation of freedom in ourselves. I remember when my heart chakra got uh, active and uh, I fully unblocked it, I felt so free that even my body felt like a jail at the beginning. I just wanted to fly. To fly in the astral forever. It's very beautiful. And the number three thing, which I find very important as well, and which will give you a very good kickstart at the beginning, uh, is to focus on the present moment. I know many of you are experiencing problem with uh, meditation, with calming down the mind. And uh, actually the, the key is not to calm down the mind. The key is to focus on the present moment. The more we are focusing on the future or on the past, the more thoughts we create in our head. And the more we are not in the present. And the whole purpose of staying here on earth is to be here in pres on the present. To experience to the fullest, to the maximum, this happiness that is coming everywhere, from every single particle around us. But are we aware of it? Be grateful. Create this gratefulness about everything that you have in your life. Don't focus on what you don't have. But the opposite. Focus on what you have, what you're grateful for, what is beautiful around you. Embrace it. Kiss it. Hug the trees. It's such a beautiful practice to hug the trees. Kiss your plants at home. I kiss mine almost every day. <laughs> When we are here, in this present of now, we understand the purpose of our existence here on Earth. Why we came here for? To create, to be happy, to experience love in all its ways, in all its levels. I really hope each one of you can embrace this beautiful journey with gratitude and love in the heart. Work on it, meditate every day and you will pick the fruits from what you have planted very soon. We always love you. <laughs>